what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down Candlebox because you requested it. Uh, also, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel and clicking the bell notification. Helps with the algorithm, helps my channel, and I appreciate it. Also, I got free courses and other bonuses in the links down there. All right, let's rock. So I just have a little bit of a chorus effect. It's not identical to the song, but adds a little vibe. And then I'm using my own, I'll be back, 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 back delay pedal. So what we're doing here is we're starting on the fifth fret of the D string and the fifth fret of the high E. It's based on a G chord. But the riff is... So I'm going D, E, uh. And so when I hit that high E the second time, I'm still pressing down on that so you hear it side up. But you don't hear it go slide down. It gets muted off and you bring it back. D, uh, D string, E string. Next, this is based on an E minor chord, and we're doing this little, these little brown-eyed girl kind of things. And so that is the eighth fret on the B and seventh fret on the high E. Then it is the seventh fret B and fifth fret high E. You know following along that little thing. So all together so far. So it's open E and as that rings out, you grab that. Then we're gonna grab the old classic D major chord and you hit that open d string bomb and then the e b ba -da, back to the open d now really the d chord's great any if you pick any of the other notes with the rhythm it's going to work just fine but on that first time d e b or yeah d e b d so So then the open A, O, two, three, and then you just, gr that index finger scoots over. That ring finger is on the third fret of the B string. So. O, two, three, ba -da -da. So we go O, two, three, that, goes over there and you pick D, G, B. Uh, 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 D, G, B. Ba, da, 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 da. And that little arpeggio 
what he's playing on that first one is the E, B, and then skipping the G to play the D. Now if you went strummy, strummy, it, it's all good. So later on, it's just more of that. Either one where it's the open high E, he is using that one a lot. If you had the third fret, it's still gonna function the same way. And so. So later on in the song, it starts doing a walk down. Now, also there's power chords for the chorus, which, let's see, if I really rocked it, you play the G5 or the G power chord open position. It's just the A strings muted out by your, by your middle finger there. And then an E minor chord or an E power chord, which you would just be muting that G string. And then D, which you could mute the high E, could be D power chord. So walks walks up and down on the C. So And on that C chord too, especially when I'm using lots of overdrive, I'm muting the third usually of the chord. So it's like on that C chord, I am muting the D string. Just gives you a cleaner chord with the overdrive. So you have, you know, basically the original riff. Then you also have the kind of power chord version. Also with the walk downs and walk ups on that between that three and two on the A string. So look for that as well. So the solo, which he is uh, playing the G major pentatonic over, you could think of, or the E minor pentatonic, it's the same thing. <laughs> Not with that effect on it though. Sounds like he's actually using a humbucker guitar, like a Les Paul, probably with the front pickup. It's a little more woman tony. First, it's just G to E minor. That's what he's doing. But then it just, the change happens twice as fast. Or, I mean, reverse. It's da, da, and then twice as long. Da, da, and that's all E minor or G major pentatonic over all that stuff. And that 
that pretty much gets you through it. I mean, you got the intro, then it just starts adding the, the climb in, climb up, climb down here. And then soloing is just G and E minor. So have fun. All right, I hope that lesson helped. Uh, thanks again for the continued support. If you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel and clicking that bell notification. And then also if you're just trying to get deeper into guitar, I've got free courses down in those links. So thanks again, hope to see you later.